Alright, I think it's time to do a quick update on my pygmy sunfish. Uh, this is Elasoma everglidii. Elasoma is a family of fish commonly known as the pygmy sunfish. And this is just one of the species. Um, they only grow to about one and a third inches, so they're definitely one of the nano fish species in the hobby. Uh, some of the other common species is the um, Hokifanoki and the um, Gilbertii. Um, but this one is the um, Everglades. Um, I'm guessing because they're found in the Everglades of Florida. Uh, this is a species that is native to North America. Right here is a female and they're more of a brown splotchy pattern much later than the males and here's a male when they're in breeding dress they're a very dark black with um, iridescent spots of blue I usually feed these guys some newly hatched baby brine shrimp um, I occasionally give them some Daphnia and some um, mosquito larvae but not as often uh, this, these fish really appreciate a well planted tank, thick in vegetation. The females will lay around 40 to 6, 60 eggs um, in the vegetation and the male will guard the eggs. Unfortunately, I don't think that has happened for me yet, but I'm still hopeful. Um, I also have some suggestions from people who have um, successively bred them. Um, one person did it on a bare bottom tank with just some mom on the bottom and then just remove the parents after a couple weeks and then another person suggested um, using marbles on the bottom so that the um, parents don't eat the eggs or the fry but um, for now I'm still trying this um, heavily planted tank method and hopefully next time I do an update on these guys, we have some fry. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed at a closer look at these pygmy sunfish. Thanks for watching.